really take us through this announcement. It's very exciting about a new biotech approach to the quality of life and maybe the length of life. Yeah, and to be clear, this is led by an amazing man. I think of him as a sort of the Steve Jobs of the biotech industry, uh, Dr. Bob Hariri. Uh, Bob and his team of 100 scientists for the last 20 years have been incubating a technology within Celgene, the biotech pharma giant, uh, that Bob found out early on, some 20 years ago, that the placenta is the richest source of stem cells. I think of it as a 3D printer that manufactures your baby, right? And for all of human history, we've discarded the placenta. And Bob realized that out of the placenta come these pluripotent stem cells and these immunological cells. And what he's done with this incredible team is learn how to use these cells for a number of things. Number one, to go and combat cancer. So early you know, uh, data showing incredible efficacy in a number of cancers. Uh, number two, fight autoimmune disease. And these stem cells are able to quell the autoimmune disease from rheumatoid arthritis to Crohn's. Uh, and number three, it's regenerative medicine. Ultimately, these, these cells that are taken from a placenta and stored can be used to regrow organs. So I have two six-year-old boys, and uh, my wife and I stored the cells with LifeBank USA, which is the division of cellularity. And I think that's the original boot disk of my kids, so if they ever need something, so, and so that's the vision we're heading towards. So, so many questions here, but let's go exactly where you just were. I yeah. mean, we hear about transplants, and there's the body tries to reject those, those transplants. Do you need to have your own stem cells as a practical matter? Does it work across people? So this is the beautiful thing that Bob and his scientists discovered, was that the stem cell coming from the placenta can be used in other individuals. Mm -hmm. So think of it this way, and Bob tells his story beautifully, that a surrogate mother who's carrying a child the surrogate mother is not related to the DNA of the child at all, right? It's a donor egg, a donor sperm. She doesn't reject the child, and the child doesn't reject her. So the, the placental stem cells have this immunologic uh, uh, immunity, if you would. Right. And so those cells, so Bob and his team have treated hundreds of patients with those stem cells coming from the placenta. And so this is the revolution that we're seeing over the next decade.